Paid patriotism. This is something, it's a little complicated, but it's very, very interesting. Now, you may have been to a, a football game or a baseball game where they pay tribute to members of the National Guard, or you'll have someone who is in uniform singing the National Anthem. Well, uh, who was it? John, uh, Senators John McCain and Jeff Flake really recently published a report saying that actually those things may have been paid for by your tax dollars and not done out of the goodness of the heart of whatever franchise, uh, sports franchise put that event on. They said Americans deserve the ability to assume that the tributes are men and women in military uniform are genuine displays in nas of national pride, which many are, rather than taxpayer funded Department of Defense marketing gimmicks. It turns out the Pentagon uh, has paid mo has a multi-million dollar program to promote the armed services and boost recruitment through patriotic events. Um, how much are they spending? Well, according to some reports, $53 million in spending on marketing and advertising contracts with sports teams between 2012 and 2015. This is just the two-thirds of them that were made public, they assume. Uh, and $10 million of which went to clubs in the NFL, MLB, NBA, NHL, and Major League Soccer. Um, and so in the uh, Senators John McCain and Jeff Flake say, if the most compelling message about military service we can deliver to prospective recruits and influencers is the promise of game tickets, gifts, and player appearances, we need to rethink our approach to how we are inspiring qualified men and women to military service. The kinds of things that they were doing, it was revealed, um, are like honoring uh, of five Air Force officials by the LA Galaxy in 2012, uh, including sideline seats, was a cost of $1,500. The National Guard uh, got a luxury suite, autographed items, and pregame field visits and cheerleader appearances, but they had to buy a luxury suite. So the message is essentially like, listen, we want to pay tribute to the men and women in uniform, but I, I, we can't just make, do it through a marketing gimmick where we're buying them stuff or, or they have to pay for it. We don't want them to have to buy out a luxury suite to get someone to tip their cap to them. But it's not just that. There's also in film and TV, David Sirota, who's a friend of the show, has been writing um, about this for literally years in TV and movies. Uh, we have a list of movies that it's been reported by um, Salon and M The Mirror, Iron Man, Avengers, Man of Steel, Transformers, Black Hawk Down, Zero Dark Thirty, and then TV franchises that are also on TV and, and movies. Uh, American Idol, Hawaii Five-0, Cupcake Wars, MasterChef, X-Men, Veep, Ice Road Truckers, Big Kitchens, which, you know, Big Kitchens, you know that's got to have the uh, Pentagon all over it. <laughs> <laughs> so we bring the movies and the TV shows into this. John McCain and the reports didn't talk about that. The reason we do that is you have to understand they're, they're like shocked, shocked that there's gambling going on in this uh, establishment, right? What are you shocked about? The, DOD does propaganda all the time. The, the Pentagon does propaganda that it both for recruiting purposes as they are doing at these games and just generally like, hey, the US military is awesome and we should bomb more things. And that's why they pay the movies or in order to play ball, like, hey, Transformers, you want to use an aircraft carrier as part of your movie? Great, but then we get approval of the script. So you can't say anything bad about the military. In fact, you have to say some positive things about the US military, right? So that's the stuff that goes on behind the scenes. So if you're at home watching a football game, you're like, oh, cool, man, like the Atlanta Georgia Dome, they put this giant American flag over it. Oh, that's so cool. No, they paid $315,000 to do that, okay? And, and during halftime, they do enlistment ceremonies where they get people to sign up to go fight the wars that we started for no reason half the time, at least half the time. Right, so no, John McCain. I don't know what you're complaining about. This is part and parcel of what the Pentagon does. Propaganda. They've been doing it for decades. So, and if I was a now, like they're shaming the NFL to doing it for free. I wouldn't do it for free. Well, you want to do like enlistment signups in the middle of a football game? That's your business, man. That ain't my business. You want to sing the national anthem? Have at it, Hall. Sure, of course I'll get the military sing the national anthem. There's nothing wrong with that, right? You don't have to pay me for that. But you want to do enlistment? No. Of course you got to pay me like anybody else. I don't know. I think that there's, I always like, I do that thing where you just you say like, soldiers are, I like soldiers. I think that's just You're something. You're pro-soldiers? I'm pro-soldiers. So go out on a limb and say that. So I think when we're doing the soldier thing, let's say that those people are good. I, I get the recruitment angle of it and it's clandestine. And there's, there are these reports that someone filed a Freedom of Information Act and got the reports. And it's just the language that I find so 
interesting and crazy. There's a, a this is a report about an Activision Blizzard video game. Um, a report filed by someone from the Pentagon who met with Activision and Blizzard, who does like World of Warcraft. And they said, we met with the company president and game developers, expressed concern that the scenario being considered for their upcoming game involves future war with China. Game developers now are looking at other possible conflicts to design the game around. And then they do an assessment. This will cover 20 to 30 million copies will be, will be sold. It's a huge endeavor and, it and they all end supports adapting our institutions and maintaining our combat edge. The other one for Veep, which is a show I watch, they said, producer is interested in the possibility of adding a military advisor to support the Dreyfus character. Our interest is a character that connects well with audiences and shows the human dimension of military service. Supports building resiliency. So you just see all the action items. And it's just so fascinating to see these meetings. Things like they were going to have, one of the rumors is, this one has no documentation, but things that I can just see happening is they said, I don't think we want to do a Top Gun sequel just because of the backlash we've gotten about what it's like, you know, like the, the Maverick versus having sex with his trainer and, and this weird dynamic that it's created in the Air Force. Like I see them just jumping in. Yeah, I mean, you said that you find it fascinating and crazy, Brett. I, I think I find it very uneasy. You know, it makes, because I understand that propaganda has been going on forever and it's just a part of, you know, at this point in time, it's just part of the process. Cool. It doesn't make me feel any better about it. You know, I don't like knowing that um, this stuff is so orchestrated behind the scenes and that, you know, without even thinking about it, think of all the movies even before this study came out where we're just kind of being indoctrinated into thinking a, a certain way. I don't, I don't like that. And I really, really don't like um, the the sports teams at the same time, like charging money. Um, I don't know, the whole, this whole story to me is just really doesn't, it smells fishy. I mean, when you, the title is, and this is what they called it, paid patriotism. Yeah. You know there's something a little it's, off, yeah. right? There's, there's yeah. something really off about it. And I'm, you know, I'm a huge sports fan myself. And it's, I, I just think it's kind of gross. My, my dad was in the Navy. And so it just, it's one of those things where I know how he feels when he sees those things at sports games and now to find out that it's all kind of a sham, it just makes me feel gross. Yeah, and it's because it's it feels more nefarious because it's so obviously done on the radar. Right, right. So right. when they and do like the the Chevy hit of the day, you know, you know they're doing an ad for Chevy. Like mm -hmm. no, nobody's confused about that. We get it, it's cool, they're trying to make money. Okay, no problem. But when they have somebody drop the first puck or they have them throw the first pitch and it seems like they're celebrating veterans, but they're actually getting paid for it. Yeah. And the real purpose of the military doing that is that so more kids at the stadium will sign up to go fight wars, then yeah, that feels gross.